Çünkü e, yüksek teknoloji bir makineden çok daha ötesi. Elektroniklerden, yazılımlardan, mekaniklerden oluşan bir şey olsa da bizim için ruhu var. O ruh da şu, semalarımda hür ve bağımsız olacağım milletimizin iradesinin ifadesi. Turkish Yukiva Kinsey success fires rockets and made Kakamini cruise missile in global first. The missile was deployed at an altitude of 7,000 meters, marking its inaugural flight with the indigenous turbojet engine KL KTJ-1750. Ismail Demir said, the missile was fired with an engine whose critical components were domestic and hit the target with pinpoint accuracy. Raketsan is the producer. Unveils the Kaka, a cruise missile with an over 150 km range that can be launched from land, naval, and air platforms. It is fitted with a 70 kg high explosive semi piercing blast fragmentation thermobaric warhead that, according to the company, makes it effective against multiple types of targets, such as surface land and coastal targets. When launched from surface platforms, the Kaka is fitted with a solid fuel booster, weighing around 55 kg, which brings its weight close to 330 kg. The weight of the missile is 275 kg, which corresponds to that of the air-launched version. With booster, the Kaka is 4.1 meters long, the missile having a 275 mm diameter, the air-launched version without booster being 3.2 meters long. Lift is provided by two sets of cruciform wings, while a set of cruciform actuators ensures maneuverability. The Kaka speed is comprised between Mark 0.75 and 0.85, propulsion being provided by the KTJ-1750 turbojet engine, providing a 1750N thrust, designed and produced by K-Large in Turkey. As we know, Kayla and D and Raketsen signed an agreement regarding the KTJ-1750 turbojet engine to be integrated onto Kaka, a cruise missile that is being developed by the later company. The signing ceremony took place on 31 March during a press meeting in Raketsen's Lalahan facilities. Nura Tekinsi, CEO of Raketsen, and Osman Okye, vice chairman of the board of Kale Group, signed the National Turbojet Engine Development Agreement, and the ceremony was honored by Professor Dr. Ismail Demer, President of Defense Industries and Professor Dr. Farak Yijit, Vice President of Defense Industries and Chairman of the Board of Raketsen. The agreement covers the development and delivery of KTJ-1750 turbojet engine to be used in Kaka. To cope with GNSS denies scenarios, the Kaka is guided towards the target by multiple navigation systems that of course include GNSS with anti-jam capability, to which Raketsen added an inertial navigation system, radar and barometric altimeters, and a terrain reference navigation system. The CACA mission is programmed via 3D waypoints, a network-based data link, ensuring man-in-the-loop capability for target update, attack re-attack for in-flight target of opportunity, as well as mission abort. In the final phase on-board seekers will ensure pinpoint accuracy. The data link also allows inter-missiles communications, which give a CACA swarming capabilities, ensuring maximum effectiveness through enemy defense saturation. The missile survivability is enhanced by the use of radar-absorbing material on the airframe, as well by its super-sea skimming and terrain masking mission profiles. The cruise missile can be launched by fixed and rotary wing aircraft, UKIV, according to rockets and a male class airframe can carry up to four missiles, OSF, as well as tactical wheeled land vehicles, a 6x6 platforms typically carrying four missiles, while bigger 8x8 vehicles can carry up to six. The missile is now fully developed, system level tests being scheduled before year end. While Baraktara Kinsey, as the carrying platform the missile, is a high-altitude long-endurance hail unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UKIV, being manufactured by the Turkish defense company Baker. The first three units entered service with the Turkish Armed Forces on 29 August 2021. The aircraft has a 5.5 plus tons of maximum takeoff weight, of which 1350 plus kilograms is composed of payload. 
Akinsey is equipped with two turboprop engines which has two different types of thrust capabilities, as 450 or 750 horsepower Akinsey is equipped with electronic support and countermeasure systems, dual satellite communication systems, air-to-air -air radar, collision avoidance radar, and national advanced synthetic aperture radar. With a preliminary design phase completed in June 2019, Akinsey started engine ground run in August 2019, with a Ukrainian turboprop engine of Chenko Progress AI 450C. First engine test was accomplished on September 1, 2019. Following the completion of other technical tests, the aircraft was moved to the Turkish Army's Kolo Airfield Command. The Yukiv made its maiden flight with automatic taxiing, takeoff, 16-minute flight and successful landing on December 2019. Akinsey has 881 pounds internal and 2,094 pounds external payload capacity, combining the overall combat load to max 2,976 pounds large 66 feet wingspan, ensures 5.5 tons of maximum takeoff weight. On 22 April 2021, Barakta Akinsey Yukiv has successfully conducted its first firing tests. During the test AK-1 NC-1 was equipped with three different variants of the indigenously developed smart ammunitions, MAM-L, MAM-C and MAM-T. The test has also been the first public appearance of the Raketsons' newest smart ammunition MAM-T. And now, after success with the Kaka cruise missile test, Akinsey Beckham the first to have capable of launching an air-launched cruise missile.